If you're following the one stream side of things, uh, you might have seen the email which talks about the new version out there. Uh, one stream 6.4 is out and I got a chance to uh, install it uh, over the weekend. So I thought I will start a new series where I will talk about what are the new features in a new release and what are the features that excites me and what can be done in a future release. So this is just my wish list. So with that, uh, 6.4, there are two, no, three features that I do like and I want to play around with it and then later on you will see those uh, in upcoming videos. One of them is direct load. So this release or that feature is more and more leaning towards the planning side of things. And if you read the documentation, you will see that direct load is something which you can use for a planning application, not a consolidation one. So it doesn't create the audits and all the things that you need for consolidation because planning necessarily don't look at the audit details and stuff. So it doesn't come with that. Uh, and the reasoning behind that is it will make the data load faster. So that is one thing which I'm really excited about. Uh, the other one is something that is my favorite, like it's a favorite feature of mine. Um, you might have seen it, uh, it's called this table view, uh, where you could pull data from a relational database and then show that in one stream spreadsheet application. Um, I played around with the table views when it first got released and there are a few enhancements that I asked uh, to make the feature better and those got added and then this feature comes with I would say the most exciting uh, uh, updates, uh, enhancements to that existing feature where you can now format the table views. You could add colors and uh, you could say what is the data type of each columns and the other Fun part is you can directly load a table view from a data table. So that's something which I'm looking forward to and you will see uh, soon an upcoming video about table views. Uh, the other one is uh, you can now access the documentation directly. So you don't have to, it's still there, it's not that. You don't have to download the PDF documentation files. Uh, it's there if you want to use and read from a PDF, but you could also access it from the OneStream desktop. Uh, so when you install OneStream, it gets installed along with the along with the server installation that you're doing, and then you can access it through the desktop. So let's look at that one. So one thing that you'll notice in the new 6.4 release is there is a help icon which uh, gets enabled once you log in to your uh, one stream environment so that is now enabled and when you click on the help icon it will then take you to the documentation so there is a platform documentation you can look at the design reference you can look at the supplemental guides so there is the api overview that you can see um, now one thing that i wish is if we can add the API guide, then that would be great. Like maybe just a sub menu on the menu, uh, on the help menu, where you could say, go to documentation and then go to the API guide. So if that's there, it's much better rather than looking at the, uh, downloading the entire documentation and looking at there. So maybe that will come uh, later. Uh, but then this talks about most of the different API listings, how it is done and all those things in here. So I do talk about the API overview, not just the API, just, just that the API guide is not there. Now the d design and references there, there is the, all the different supplemental uh, guides that you get or when you download, you have all those ones. So the supplemental details are there. Um, now, the one more thing that I would love uh, to see in an upcoming version, this is my wish list. So one is adding the API guide in there. The other one is uh, with the table views. Now that table view gets more and more mature, um, some of you might have used the OneStream parcel service where you could uh, ship uh, Excel packages out to users and that Excel package 
packaging supports only Q views. So that's one in my wish list uh, where we can now, it's more like you have formatting now in table views. So if we could now add a feature where you can say export to Excel and then write, like pass the table view business rule and then use that for uh, sending out Excel reports using parcel service. So that's next in my wish list, which is let, uh, let the export to Excel feature also include the table view.